Happy the man who considers the poor and the weak. The Lord will save him in the day of evil. O guard him, give him light, make him happy in the land, and will not give him up to the will of his foes. The Lord will help him on his bed of pain. He will bring him back from sickness to health. As for me, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, Lord, I have sinned against you. My foes are speaking evil against me. How long before he dies and his name be forgotten? They come to visit me and speak empty words. Their hearts full of malice, which they spread it abroad. My enemies whisper together against me. They always have the evil which is on me. Some deadly thing has fastened upon him. He will not rise again from where he lies. Thus even my friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has turned against me. But you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let me rise once more, and I will repay them. By this I shall know that you are my friend, if my foes do not shout in triumph over me. But if you uphold me, I shall be unharmed, and set in your presence forevermore. Blessed be God, blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from age to age, Amen, Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, Amen. Lord, lay your healing hand upon me, for I have sinned. The mighty Lord is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear till the earth should rock, till the mountains fall into the depths of the sea, even though its waters rage and fall. Even though the mountains be shaken by its waves, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is with him, he cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult. Kingdoms are shaken. He lifts his voice, the earth shrinks away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over all the earth. The bow he breaks, the spear he he burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The mighty Lord is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. Mighty and wonderful are your works, Lord.
Lord God Almighty, righteous and true are your ways, O King of the nations, who would dare refuse you honor for the glory to your name, O Lord. Since you alone are holy, all nations shall come and worship in your presence. Your mighty deeds are clearly Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All nations will come and worship before you, O Lord. I think that you know what has been reported all over Judea about Jesus of Nazareth, beginning in Galilee with the baptism John preached, of the way God anointed him with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good works and healing all who were in the grip of the devil, and God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem. Christ loved us and washed away our sins in his own blood. Christ loved us and washed away. The word was made man. Alleluia, alleluia. The word was made man. Alleluia, alleluia. He lived among us. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. 
Thy Spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. In every generation, he has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and will be forever. Amen. Venite, omnes populi, invisibile misterium glorificemus, qui a creator omnium, ipse progessit ex Et verbum caro factum es, ur liberad et orbem terarum. At the birth of Jesus, angels proclaimed peace to the world. We worship him now with joy. And we pray with hearts full of faith. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Lord, fill your holy people with whatever good they need. Let the mystery of your birth be the source of our peace. Kyrie eleison. You came as chief shepherd and guardian of our lives. Let the Pope and bishops be faithful channels of your many gifts of peace. King from all eternity, you desire to be born within time and to experience the day-to-day -day life of men and women. Share your gift of unending life with us, weak people doomed to death. Awaited from the beginning of the world, you came only in the fullness of time. Now reveal your presence to those who are still expecting you. You became mad and gave new life to our human condition in the grip of death. Now give the fullness of life to all who have died. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who called the bishop St. John Neumann, renowned for his charity and pastoral service, to shepherd your people in America, grant thy his intercession, that as we foster the Christian education of youth, and are strengthened by the witness of brotherly love, 
we may constantly increase the family of your church through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Mark Robert here, January the 6th. The year of grace, 1373. St. Andrew Corsini. As he spent his youth in dissolute living, he eventually joined the Carmelites, having become prior of the Florence Convent and then Bishop of Fiesole. He never ceased his life of penance. He left behind a reputation of having been a miracle worker. The year of the Lord, 1937, at Montreal, Canada, St. Andre de Saint canonized by Pope Benedict XVI in 2010. Having been orphaned with his 12 brothers and sisters, he knew misery, sickness, and the roughness of manual labor. At 25, he entered the Brothers of the Holy Cross at Montreal. During the 40 years, during 40 years, they assigned him the task of porter at their college, and nearly 30 additional years at the oratory of St. Joseph. Daily, the sick and the poor came to him at the oratory in order to recover hope, a life of prayer, and a sacrament. At his death, they engraved on his tomb the inscription, A Poor and Humble Servant. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. Of life. From our necrology, Brother John Theophane Gagner. After a long and difficult search, he discovered Christ and was baptized in 1982. He entered the community at Saint Gerard in 1993 and was called to God during a snowball fight on the Feast of the Epiphany, January 6, 1995, at the age of 48. His body is buried in his family's tomb at Chateaubriand, France. Light and the patronage, oh, Holy Mother, Mother of God, God. despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. The angel of the Lord declared unto her, whom she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. And the Word was made flesh. And the Lord was among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son is made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 